Good morning, everybody. We're very, very excited. Our orders have arrived. Well, your orders have arrived. And Jasmine and Daniels, they ordered some books too, didn't you? So I've got my lovely assistant here this morning. Do you want to say hello to everybody? Hello. And she's going to help me this morning to unpack these books. I'm going to show you all your lovely books. Daniel's um, at school. Daniel's at school. Oh dear, the book man came before Daniel went to school. And then Daniel didn't want to go to school. He wanted to do the video with us, so he's going to be a wee bit raging. <laughs> we went on ahead and done the video without him. But um, we have, we did say that we would take Daniel's book over. Are you going to bring Daniel's book over when we go to pick him up? And then he can carry his book home with him. So he seemed happy enough for that, and he went on into school then. I'll bring Daniel's book over. I'll bring Daniel's book, and you bring yours over, and then I'll bring the other girls over the order from us as well. So do you want to jump up and start opening the box? <laughs> oh, you need some help? Let's see. Usually I do open the box before we do the video, but... It's a little sore this morning. This. 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 Now give me my order form first. Oh, no. Okay. We've got our Christmas sheets. Now we're going to look at orders and also for the Christmas packs. Let me see my sheets just to check. Don't lift anything I just yet. Just to have a quick check. Make sure everything's here. Yep, everything's here, good job. Okay, do you want to lift the first one out? So I think this one was Nanny Shales. Um, first encyclopedia of our world, just to let everybody see what the books look like. Um, if anybody wants to order this one in the future. So that's why I do these little order box openings as well. Lots of beautiful pictures there, lots of facts and everything. Um, oh, this is just a beautiful book. Wouldn't mind getting this one myself. Okay, so that first encyclopedia, if anybody's interested in that for a future order, is nine ninety nine. What's wrong, Jasmine? The book is there. This one is another one in the first encyclopedia series, and it's the first encyclopedia of animals as well. Oh, wow. And look, I had to open it. <laughs> I just had to open it at the squirrel. Look, the gray squirrel. That's a sign. I had to open it at the gray squirrel. Oh wow. And that tootie is $9.99. Oh, this is a big one. 365 things to make and do. Lots of different activities. Wow, I didn't think this book was as thick as that. All different things, little finger paint people that you can make. What else have we got over here? Bits of sewing, look. You can sew a felt giraffe. You can sew a felt elephant. Um, you can make little space things. Little rockets. Wow. What's these? Dragonflies and bugs from paper and paint. Oh, wow. We've even got robots. This is what Daniel's doing at school at the minute. He's doing junk art and doing different robots. So that's fantastic. That book is priced at $12.99. That'll keep the kitties busy. Okay. Are you looking for yours? Yeah. There's yours. Do you want to show everybody yours then? Jasmine is a cat called Mitzi, which we share with another um, neighbour who lives on up the street. He knows that the cat lives with us most of the time. So Jasmine wanted a little book on how to look after Mitzi. Look at those cute kittens on the front. Wow. You're going to show them some pages inside? Oh, wow. Oh, look. It tells you how to choose a kitten. It tells you what toys you need. It tells you how to make a catnip toy. Wow. What plants is poisonous to the cats? Wow, hold it up and show everybody the lovely cats. There it tells you all about the different types of cats and how to choose one. Look at the cute ginger one. Wow, what other pages have we got? Let's just flip over a bit more. Wow, this is about meeting other pets and, and how to get your, um, how to introduce your cat to its new family. Are you stroking that one? That's a wee tabby one. What else have we got in here? <gasps> Keeping its fur healthy, all the different brushes. Remember I was telling you? 
all the different brushes you have to use, depending if your cat is short haired like Mitzi or long haired like a cat I used to have. There's some brushing in the long haired ones because you have to get all the taps out, don't you, Jasmine? Yeah. What else have we got? We'll just flick over another couple of pages. Oh, yes and no. How to train your cat. Well, we're training Mitzi at the minute and she's doing very well with her training, isn't she? Yeah. When I when I call her, when she chases after the squirrels and I tell her to come back, she comes straight back. She's very good, isn't she? What else have we got? <gasps> cat flap training. Well, no, we're not going to put a cat flap in the back door. Mitzi just comes to the door and, and, and she doesn't, well, she comes in and out as she pleases. We just leave the door open. Don't need cat flaps. I'm not really a lover of cat flaps because you could have other people's cats coming into your house if you put a cat flap on your door, couldn't you? Yeah. So no, we don't do cat flaps. <gasps> Hunting. Doesn't Mitzi like to hunt? She likes to hunt the birds. Yeah. Nobody can see. You're standing in front of the book. Mitzi likes to hunt the birds and it shows you what, what they do when they're getting ready to pounce and the cats like to play with balls, don't they? What does Mitzi like to play that you have for? What did we make? What did we make? Mm. Mummy's knitting needle and a bit of wool wrapped around the knitting needle. Yeah. Didn't we make a wee toy and like that? And Missy chased it. And Missy chased it. So there you go, that's your book. Where did Daniel's book go? Oh, there's Daniel's book there. You want to show everybody Daniel's book? Yeah. Daniel got 199 things in the farm. Jasmine's book is priced at five ninety nine, and there's other ones in the series. There's gerbils, there's hamsters, there's rabbits, there's puppies. Yes, everybody. Look at Massey Ferguson. Oh, wow. Daniel's going to be super happy. We've got a Massey Ferguson, which is Jasmine's favourite tractor, and John Deere's Daniel's favourite tractor. Can you make and a Massey Ferguson cake? I don't know. If I can make a Massey Ferguson cake, I've never made a tractor cake before. Well, there's a challenge for me. I'm not very good at doing cakes. I'm in the middle. Oh, just make one for the middle of the cake. Well, I could maybe do a small one then for the middle of the cake, but I don't think I can make a tractor cake. Cakes aren't my strong point. I do lots of bacon, but not cakes. So this is 199 things on the farm, and it's priced at five ninety nine. Let's see what other things we've got on the farm. We've got a scarecrow. Nobody can see you blocking. And another <laughs> Massey Ferguson. And another Massey Ferguson. Is there a Blue Holland? I think I see a Blue Holland. Is there a Blue Holland? No, there's a John Deere again down the bottom. And there's a manure spreader, as I call it, when I used to live on the farm myself. A manure spreader. What else have we got? A utility tractor. That's what you use to cut the grass. It's a utility tractor. And there's the wheat we were talking about last night. We went for a nature walk last night. And there was these things, the grass and I says I used to call them wheat, but it wasn't wheat. So that's the wheat Mommy was talking about last night. And there's the corn and the rice. She's way to look at the thing. So that's Daniel's book. You have to bring that with you later on. The I next one we have then is Find the Duck. Very popular. Um, very popular from birth upwards. This book's $4.99. I just, I just love Finding the Duck. I'm as bad as the wings. Can anybody see where the duck is? Where's the duck? Can you find her in this picture? <laughs> oh no, she's underneath all the toilet roll. What is she doing under there? Can anybody find the duck in these pictures? What's the duck? <laughs> oh, she's in the sink. She's having a swim. Okay. We have the first illustrated English dictionary. Nice paperback book. I love paperback books. I'm not really a big lover of hardback books, but this is really good. Look at all the wealth of information in here. This one is $12.99 and it's for nine plus. Um, so I'll let you see a couple of pages in it. Nice big writing, I thought, when I looked at the pictures of it myself. The writing looked very small, but no, the writing's nice and big. Um, what else have we got? And lots of different illustrations as well. So that's that one there, the first illustrated English dictionary. We have lots of different dictionaries. We've got dictionaries in different languages, French, Spanish, um, things like that. We also have um, first words. Um, and learning different languages. There's a whole range of languages. There's Portuguese, there's Polish, there's Russian, um, French. There's a whole range of them. Um, if the kids need them for school. What else have we got? We've got lots of things for little children to do in a journey. This one is $7.99. So if the kids get bored, if you're going out in the car, there's lots of fun things. Look, which boat is going the wrong way? Spot the difference. What else have we got in here? Um... A little word search, matching up the little pictures. 
And what have you pulled out? The last one, Dan will like this one too, is the big book of machines with four giant fold outs. This one's $9.99. So if anybody likes excavators and dump trucks, like my Daniel does, you'll love this book. Look at that. A big mining machine. Wow. Big mining machine. And what else? She's, she's looking at the farm book again. Oh, here's the big fold out. We've got airplanes. Oh, Daniel will definitely want to get this book. <laughs> I'm not going to be able. Can you hold the other side of this for me? There's a big fold out on airplanes. Okay, pop it back in again for me. Apparently there's four of these fold outs. So there must be another one on down somewhere. Yes, there's another fold out on the building site machine. So that one folds out there. And then that side folds out there. Good girl. So that's an amazing book there, isn't it, Jasmine? Let me see if we can get it folded back in again. And that's all of our books for today. My Jasmine. Oh my God, you've lifted this one up. We forgot about this one. The Osborne Nativity flat book. Yeah. This yeah. one's six ninety nine. Yeah. That's the Massey Ferguson crop spray sprayer. Even um, this Nativity flat book is. That's what I like in that tree. The cherry blossom tree. That's Jasmine's favorite tree. A cherry blossom tree. Yeah. Osborne Nativity flat book is six ninety nine, and this is suitable for two plus. No, I just love these for Christmas. Oh wow! Yeah. Look at this. I love growing. Wow, we have a little, a little filly thing here, a little hole, oh, hang on, maybe lift the flap up there, I'm not, I don't really want to lift the flap because this is for an order, um, another um, flap in here that you open these doors, and there's a cat peeking through, can anybody see the cat, there's a cat peeking through, <gasps> there's a flap there I can lift for you, this one's come down, careful, now next the baby Jesus, what's that mommy? That is a plum. Did me pick plums at your school? You have a plum tree in your. She has her own school garden, Boy, and they Mary, picked plum. That they picked, <laughs> That nearly didn't come out right. They picked plums even. I was about to say you picked bums. <laughs> plums. Oops. And what else did you make? You had apples in your garden at school too, didn't you? And you made an apple crumble. Didn't you? That's blueberries. Daniel's favourite. We haven't had them in a so this is my new Christmas sheets with the latest Christmas book releases um, and whatnot. So everybody will be getting one of these. If you haven't ordered this time, you'll be getting one of these in What's your Christmas that, pack. Mama? So don't worry. If you have ordered this that's time, your favorite, that's my favorite onions. <laughs> you'll be getting one in your order. Okay. So that's our video for today. And that one's 12 minutes. Bye that's going to take a couple of hours to upload. So I'll be getting those orders sorted out, posted and delivered between I, now and, and, and Monday. I'm working on Monday. So um, between now and Monday, because I'm uh, working yeah. back as the book lady back in the charity shop again. And I can't wait. And um, I have some more uh, ideas for my, for my own book business. There's goat's cheese. I love goat's milk. That's goat's milk that you find on the farm, don't you? And, and the goats also make the cheese. She just loves this book now. Nice jam. That's your favourite strawberry jam. I like plum and cinnamon jam. I think I'd have a cup of tea now and some toast with plum and cinnamon jam. What are you going to have for your snack? Um, some crisps. Some crisps. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, is my assistant going to say bye bye? Come around here so everybody can see you. She's too busy bye. looking at Daniel's book. So, from my assistant on her wild hair this morning, <laughs> she, went, she went, I don't know what happened to you last night. She looks like worse little gummage. We're going to say bye bye now and go and get all these orders bye. sorted out, aren't we? And get a snack. And she's just going to sit and look at everybody's books. <laughs> aren't you? Yeah. Okay, we'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.